In this mock, we will talk about the best way to measure the impact of social interventions. To this end, we will explain three blocks of content. Firstly, we will introduce the concept of self-management programs. Secondly, we will explain the theory of change to understand how this approach can contribute to develop more effective disability programs. And thirdly, we will reflect about how to improve the skills of disability programs evaluators and organizations to design a logic impact assessment framework. Self-management program is formed by a group of eight people with intellectual disability that meet regularly and debate on a specific topic. It allows people with intellectual disability to express their wishes and needs. It also sets up the expected outcomes to be achieved by the program. To continue, we will address the theory of change. This method explains how a given intervention or set of interventions is expected to lead to a specific development change. It helps to describe and illustrate how and why a desired change is expected to happen in a given context. It aims to explain how the activities of a social intervention are designed to produce a series of intermediate results that contribute to achieve the final intended impacts. The theory of taints states that the term results are used to include outputs, outcomes and impacts, where impacts are the final outcomes affecting the well-being. Additionally, three types of results are linked and sequenced in a particular order. The three results are different strategic pieces of a unique project roadmap. The concept outputs refers to the direct results from the activities, such as goods, services provided, and infrastructures. The concept outcomes is linked to changes in behaviors, and the concept impacts should be associated to a broader change in the well-being of the society or target group. Addressing the last point of the mock today, we should highlight one of the most important contributions of the theory of change. It is the development and integration of the concept of assumptions in the evaluation framework. Assumptions are defined as the salient events and conditions that have to occur for its link in the casual pathway to work as expected. For example, assumption is related to attitudes. That means that disability professionals have to believe in the effectiveness of self-management programs. Assumption is related to people with intellectual disability. They should attend the self-management program with high satisfaction. In summary, the theory of change helps the self-management program designers and evaluators in two ways. Firstly, to better understand assessment term results composed by outputs, outcomes, and impacts. Secondly, by integrating in a comprehensive way these different results components within a logic, framework, or casual pathway. The casual pathway shows the conditions that have to occur in our self-management program to work as expected, assumptions on the right side, and also the indicators to assess the progress on the left side. Finally, this casual pathway allows us to describe how to the activities or inputs will produce a change. It focuses on improving the independence and social inclusion of people with intellectual disability.